brand new episode of WSI TV. Enjoy the show! Welcome back to another episode of WSI TV. I'm joined here today by Jim Sampson. Hello. How are you? Thanks for having me. Yeah, it's good to have you. Um, so today we'll be talking about the general market and Jim's going to give us updates on that. But before we get into that, I want to remind you guys to go on to the WSITV.com website um, and sign up for our weekly newsletters through the WSI Vault. Um, so we've seen some movement in the market this week. Jim, can you tell us what's going on? Yes. So uh, since last week, we had uh, some nice follow through, particularly, uh, you know, it's always important, I think, uh, to watch Friday's action because that tells you the sort of the mentality of traders going into the weekend. Do they want to dump positions? Do they want to hold on to them? Mm -hmm. We had a, quite a violent, you know, gap up, surge up on, on the Friday, a little bit of a sell off as the session went on, mm -hmm. uh, but ultimately ended up. And that's really all that matters at the end of the day. Uh, and as we look at the chart of uh, the, uh, the one we look at here, the, the, the big picture chart, the benchmark index, S&P 500, that's, you know, we're getting great follow through. And as I've been saying, we, I mean, we made our brand new bull market call on September the 9th. Um, so it's looking good for that so far. In fact, we can see the trajectory of the 40 week, that all important 40 week, the red line there really pointing to the moon now. And as I've been saying, the, the longer um, the, uh, the, the, the market action stays above that 40 week average, the more the 40 week average is going to point up. Absolutely. So yeah, all in all, um, you know, more of the same action confirming our bull call, the uh, brand new bull call from September the 9th. Absolutely. So that sounds great. And we also saw um, the Dow Jones, which is another standard in the market, shot up 400 points last right. week. Um, yeah. So what do you think that means? I think that that's uh, obviously, you know, um, you know, confirming action. What we want is to see, because obviously the, it's a great point to pick up because we look, look at all the indexes really as one. S&P 500 is the, is the one we look at because it is a good benchmark. We've also got the Dow Jones, as you say, and there's also the NASDAQ. There's also mm -hmm. smaller companies than the Russell 2000, actually. And what you want is all of the major indexes telling you the same sort of things. And they, they, you know, they don't have to be exactly in sync, mm -hmm. but they're all saying the same sort of thing, uh, which is a very uh, positive sign. There is a lot of it, a focus though on the Dow Jones, which is interesting because it's only actually 30 stocks. Mm -hmm. So it's not that representative, but it is an important one uh, to look at because it is, you know, the, um, you know, the, uh, the big ones. Yes, and it's, um, it's particularly focused in the industrial sector. Correct? Right, exactly. Um, so as far as manufacturing has been looking down lately, that might right. be a good sign for the future there. Right, yes, yeah. so yeah, exactly. That, that sort of thing. And you, the Nasdaq's obviously more technical stocks. Mm -hmm. so, you, so you build up this bigger picture, you know, of the of the whole thing. If one of those major indexes is, was was in a say in a bull a bear condition, mm -hmm. and one was in a in a bull, then we've we've got a real disagreement there. Absolutely. And you, you want that that confirmation constantly, which is you know what we've got right now for sure. Yeah. Um, and speaking of the complications between different parts of the market, um, a lot of people are panicking a little bit lately because they think that we're seeing a repeat of the tech bubble in the 90s um, right. because our economy um, jobs are surging, everything is well above average, and then the markets have been wavering a little bit. Um, right. And as you said, that we've seen the market bounce back and it's doing well, and we are in our bowl session yeah, right now. Yeah. Um, but what do you think about everybody panicking a little bit about yeah. this situation? It's an interesting one because, I mean, uh, and again, this is one reason why we, you know, we watch the actual price action closely as opposed to, you know, a lot of the noise and stuff. But um, the, it's interesting actually that the, the real economy and the actual stock market don't have to be completely synchronized. Mm -hmm. in in fact, that's been one big feature of this, you know, you know, quantitative easing driven bull market that kind of really all began in barring a couple of interruptions, really began in 2009. Mm -hmm. And um, that, that just that, that, that liquidity. But we, meanwhile, the rest of the, the, the average person, the average family, you know, is still kind of struggling. Yeah. So, that, so that disconnect, I would say, is nothing new. It might be just something that they're picking up on right now. Absolutely. Looking at the NASDAQ, I've got no reason to think why that would be in a bubble any more than, say, the, the S&P or the Dow Jones. If I was looking at something that's in a bubble right now, it's the thing, it's the theme I've been uh, going back to in my mind, that's the junk bond market. J&K, that, the corporate debt, is our next is mm -hmm. our next bubble and that yeah. last time it was property prices and you go back to say the 90s and it was the the tech stock bubble mm -hmm. the one and everyone's always looking in the rear view mirror the yes. one to be looking at had now 
is junk bonds. And that, that's the uh, ticking time bomb, but market doesn't care about that just yet, and that's what we're paying attention to. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and then also, speaking of market and international trade, we have the trade war going on. Um, and we're actually going to dig deeper into that an episode with Taylor and me later this week. Um, but for now, it seems that we've come to some tentative negotiations um, with China as of Friday. Yes, yeah, so um, it's a very news re reactive kind mm -hmm. of market, you know, gyrating according to what someone says about a so-called trade war. Um, and it, But it is a lot of, um, you know, trade war is just a talk sort of thing right now it hasn't actually got into one yet yeah. uh, it really in, in earnest and so there's a lot of worry about something that isn't actually uh, you know in, in effect and um, uh, and that's why again I stick to the price action yeah. you know because what, what we what we we think is a cause of it because of something that, like that could actually just be the market doing its own thing. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and we have a few more tariffs that are being um, enacted on the EU at the end of this week. Right. Um, but it's a very, very small sector that's being affected. Um, it's right. a direct response to the Airbus situation. Right. Um, which, do you know at all about that situation? Uh, yes, yeah, fairly familiar. But I mean, they're, they're, I think there's always going to, there's always have been, you know, pockets of you know, kind of like micro trade mm -hmm. wars, you know, almost it, not you know, between countries, but between companies, you mm -hmm. know, there, there's, al there's always been an element of tit for tat. I mean, you think about how many times over the news of the last decades have you heard the word sanctions? Yeah. I mean, sanctions is a type of trade war. Um, it just can't be responded to that easily, hence it's called yeah. a sanction. But um, so it's actually nothing new. When we talk about, uh, when you talk about the, the thing that everyone thinks might be happening, everyone's getting excited about a full blown trade war. That's like we go back to 1933 and the whole Smoot Hawley Act when, mm -hmm. you know, the global economy just shuts yeah. down because there is an out, out it's a total war. You'll be looking for that total mm -hmm. trade war thing. It's like they're looking at the difference between, say, you know, World War II and let's say, you know, the Vietnam War. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, neither one was desirable, but one was a very kind of micro yes. localized thing, affected two countries really. Uh, yeah, and the World War II was a world war. And that yeah. we're not, we're, if, any, if anything's happening at all, it's it, Vietnam. Mm -hmm. We're not a world war, Absolutely. not World War II, you know? Yeah, so you heard it here first. Trade war is nothing to be worried about, right. especially when the numbers are responding. Not yet. Yeah. yeah, so thank you so much yeah. for joining me this week. Thanks for having um, us. Yeah, thank you for another great episode. See you next week. Bye. Thanks for watching the latest episode of WSI TV. Be sure to visit WSITV.com where you can subscribe for free with no contract and gain instant access to the secrets of self made millionaires via the WSI TV vault. So go ahead and claim this gift for free now at WSITV.com.